Uncle said, Watch it! You got cat's eyes. Who'll continue my line? Mind if I interrupt? Nay. My prayers are in vain anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I... I am. Look. See it lying there. A horse head on the pole. That's... A nithing. Kind of curse, seen this before. They're nothing to scoff at, can bring misfortune, even death. Aye, and the name carved upon it is Tialva, my firstborn. Boy's feverish, grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Try to lift the curse myself, but. No luck. I can help you, one of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm-hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. Curse. Name carved on the shaft. Tialva, son of Lothar. Trails fresh. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Hmm. What is this? Woman's shawl. Distinctive pattern. Distinctive smell. Too many scents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. You believe the woods cursed? Vagrant. You, you Odin? I am. Hear about me, Sonny? Sorry. Can't take this on right now. Farewell. Watch yourself, white hair. Not bad as steel goes. Think the day or day long? Aye? What's it you need? Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist, lives there in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. Found your shawl near Lothar's house by the nithing you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjelva's got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride, but he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. 
Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. And he abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. Oh no, I have not been had. Nor have I forgot. I want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. The sorceress. Yennefer, right? Brand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. know who placed the knifing? Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So, will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay. Never! My wife, my son, I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've gotta break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! You might deserve to be punished, but not this way. Fine, I'll do it. Thanks be to the gods. Don't bring the gods into it. This is between two human beings. Lather by the ice giant. So? Did it work? It did. Your son should recover soon. And Yona will die. Thanks, Witcher. A thousand times over. My son's dearest of all to me. I couldn't abide it if he died. Your reward. Will you eat with us before moving onward? No. Not in the mood. There's truth to that blather by the ice giant. Ah! 